Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. I am your host Richard Evans and today we're going to be taking a look at Photoshop blend effects on the TriCaster. This is a cool way to add some texture or different effects to your uh, video signals in your productions. Let's take a look. Okay, so here we are in our TriCaster TC1 interface and the first thing that I want to do is bring in some sources to put an effect on. So I'm going to go grab one of my inputs from my NC1 I.O. I'm going to bring this over here into uh, mix effect number two on preview. So I want to have this gentleman and then I want to add some uh, animated uh, logo on top of him. So I'm going to use my buffer number two and put that as my A layer. Now in order to get these to blend, uh, what you basically have to do would be to do like an A over B type transition and then just kind of mix it a little bit, you know, going 50 percent, etc. But that still isn't quite effective because, yeah, okay, now the, the background can be a little dark or then I can't see the NDI logo animating on top of it. Uh, so let's see what else we can do. Uh, we can add one of the effects that's within Photoshop to give this a little bit more of a, of a kick to it. Uh, so let's go ahead and the way you access that is in your transitions, we can go through and hit the plus button on one of these. And we'll go up to some of our live sets. So those are where these Photoshop lens are located. So instead of loading in a virtual set, we're going to load in an effect. So here it is under Photoshop Blends. And now we have all of these different uh, commonly used uh, blending tools that are within Photoshop. So for example, I'm just going to go through with a few of these real quick. So we'll hit Add. And now, as you can see, now I have that logo just added on top of that so that doesn't affect my uh, background for the black side of things uh, and then uh, also doesn't affect the, the wall behind him here. But we have a bunch of different options to choose from here and let's just go through and find one that looks pretty cool. That's cool, but now we can't see him. Where'd he go? Let's do color dodge instead. All right, that's a little cool, a little rough around the edges, but still not bad. Whoa, for a good little psychedelic look. I can dig it. Let's see what else we could come up with here. Let's do difference. All right, we'll just stick with that one here because that one looks pretty neat and just fun. And, and again, we still have our positioners available to us, so uh, I can move this down so we can see his face a little bit better or put it over here in the corner, etc. But let's just go ahead and put that right there and that'll just give us a cool little dynamic effect. There we go, looking cool. So again, this is a cool way to bring in different effects into your mix effect row instead of just using a virtual set and add some cool uh, color dynamics to your productions. So if you like this particular tutorial, be sure to go to newtech.com demo and sign up for a personalized demonstration where I can show you a bit more on the TriCaster TC1 and some of the other products that we have. Until then, thank you for watching and be sure to tune in next time for another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials.